right now we're taking up the uh, the gravel layer in these bags. He hooks it together, and then they'll hoist it up at the top of the mine. This is actually the telephone. They communicate through this pipe that goes about 35 feet up to the surface. In these bags, they weigh about 50 pounds, and they fill them up with the gravel layer mud that is the earth-bearing rock. So in the interior walls of the mine, you've got a number of different types of wood that are being used. These are local timber that they cut to use the main supports. Everything here is in a, a cube frame, very strong. Uh, and then what you have here is you have bamboo that goes in between the main supports. And behind the bamboo is stuffed with fern leaves that grow up on the surface. The water comes in, hits the ground, they've got water pumps that send it back up to the surface and the cycle continues. Being down here gives me a real appreciation for, for the stones and how rare they are. It's, it's pretty awesome. And the work that goes into it. Yeah, yeah, the work that goes into it. You know what really surprised me about coming down here in the mine? That Susu came with. Come here, Susu. Hey, Susu. Susu! Hey, I'm alive! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's go take a look at how they're actually digging the tunnels. Get away. So the process of constructing and expanding the mine starts at the top. They build, they dig out about a, a foot and a half of distance forward. Then they put supports all the way back down, remove these temporary supports here, clear all the earth out, which will then go up to the mine where they'll sort it and look for stones. And they just keep repeating the process over and over again. So I got a small metal shovel here. And then we're gonna try to just remove this area, bring it down so they're gonna put supports in the back. Just keep moving forward. There's all types of rock down here. This is clay. So all of the earth that we're removing here, piece by piece, small little shovel by shovel, has to go down that shaft and then all the way back up to the surface. Slowly, slowly, slowly. This is the interior shaft walls of the mine. When you come down the vertical shaft, to the gravel layer where the stones are found. Then they follow the horizontal path of wherever the gravel layer is down here in the below the surface. There's about four feet of clearance. There's water dripping down everywhere. They're constantly pumping it out with the water pump. The air is very heavy down here. You can actually, it's like the humidity is beyond 100% almost. It's like you're swimming, but somehow you're still breathing. Now we're gonna head back up the shaft carefully, and then we're gonna see how they sort through the gem gravel to see if we can find anything valuable. 